All right, chat. What do you say, huh? What do you say? Let me scoot my chair in. Let's get comfortable, huh? We say we start. Danganronpa V3. Killing Harmony. What's the worst that could happen? I get attached to all the characters. Did I just hit load game? I don't have any loaded games. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? <laughs> if you load save data of the demo version, I don't have a demo version. What do I get? Oh, there a secret 16th student hidden somewhere in the school. I don't have save data. Demo version was not loaded. English. New game. Look at all these options. Why am I in the middle of a street? Team Dang and Ronpa. It says in the background. Logic difficulty. Easy. Kind. Because I'm stupid. Action difficulty. Normal. This is the things that was recommended for me. So I'm going to go with these. Because I assume logic is the ability to deduce the crimes. And I suck at that. <clears throat> and the action, I don't know what that implies. But uh, I think this is good. I think we're going to go with kind logic and medium action. Start. Intro? Wait, this is just the first game and the second game. This is all the games and the anime. Ooh. I remember all this stuff. Oh! Music transition? And Ultra Despair Girls? If people told me to skip that. What a disgrace. Who would dare tell me? To skip that and the anime. Dude, it just pays tribute to all of them. All of its franchises. I watched all of these. Don't flash back to the books. I didn't read those yet. I'm all caught up. Story is not over. The story. A new. Killing game will begin again. The thing is, I feel like I've seen a lot of these characters due to like cosplayers and shit. Team Dang and Ronpa. That's a neat symbol. I know at least like three or four character designs. Just like via watch, via like people I follow. Nothing. Is this me? No light, no sound. No form, no voice. The ultimate darkness. The ultimate nothing. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. Take To take hold of my existence. Is that me? I'm a girl now! Oh, look at me! I can coom over myself now. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Kaede Akamatsu. I'm not gonna remember this. Kaede. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet you. I sleep in lockers. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Dude, look at me. I'm a cute little blonde girl. I am the ultimate revival. We are the waifu this time. <laughs> I stri I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I already forgot how to pronounce her name. Kaede? Kaeda. Kaede. What am I, dumb? I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Someone needs to dumb down the pronunciation of her name so I can remember it. G Ow. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? 
Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? Kaye Day. Kaye Day. Okay, okay. Maybe. I maybe I'll remember that. I rubbed my throbbing forehead. That's not the only thing I was throbbing. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom. This is a fancy classroom. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Look at this classroom. Uh, oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? I pinched my cheeks. Uh, which cheeks? But I, that's, all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just stay calm and think this through. I don't know why I started copying what she's doing, but I did. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. At the end, it just didn't even matter. Bam! Blam! Oh! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened, and this is always going to be the second character who's introduced is always going to be like the most relevant character. It was like Nagi to last time. I don't remember who it was in the first game. Maybe it was Kyoko. A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy with nothing special about him whatsoever, uh, dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head, I've seen this character. I've seen people cosplay this character. Oh, oh, he screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt and scooted back. I've seen this person. Uh, who are you guys? What are you do? What are you with those other guys? Huh? I don't know what he sounds like. What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Kidnapped? Wait. Where am I? I don't know what he sounds like. I got give me a line, brother. What are you doing? What are you gonna do to me? Hey, hey hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? Yo, just Woodhouse, thank you for the follow. What's your name? Huh? huh? Uh, um... I'm I'm Shuichi Saihara. Shuichi. Yeah. Shuichi. I'm Kai Kai Kayade. I already forgot. I have another Kaede Akamatsu. K K K a day. Fuck. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Shut up. You're the only one who's you're not the only one who's confused right now. Sorry. After making him shut up, I retracted my step. I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. The Future Foundation. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. His name is pronounced Sushi? Is it really pronounced Sushi? And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. K.A. Day. Jeez. Same with me. We were kidnapped by the same people. It seems like it. But why me? My family's not rich and I've got no one and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. The reason there's no reason to kidnap me. Okay. Sorry, I keep looking at chat <laughs> just to understand how to pronounce my character's name. Oh, I'm so dumb. Uh, me either. I'm just a regular guy at a regular school. And this school, right? Why did they take us to this school? I wonder why. Kai A Day. <laughs> Kai A Day. Maybe if I write it down on my hand a hundred times, I'll remember it. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Are you kidding me? Oh, mouse and keyboard. I'll just use mouse and keyboard for the first time. I, you know, what are the controls? Oh, use the left stick to control the reticle on the screen. Well, when you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate. Ah! 
<laughs> Should I get a controller, chat? Should I just go grab a fucking controller right now? The right stick controls your view. Get a good view of your surroundings. Also, you can uh, press the right bumper to smack objects around. I'm gonna go grab a fucking controller. <laughs> I'll be, give me one second. I'm done playing this game. Jeez Louise. Am I to use a control? What is this? What is this game? Wait, why does Dang and Rampa know? I play the first two games with PC controls because it's default, and I never changed it. Insert Dang and Rampa 3. I'll just use the keyboard. You know, I the other games always like did want me to use a keyboard. I'll just do it. Insert controller. Dang and Rampa too smart. I'm gonna press A and then it's gonna be like press the WASD keys to walk around. I swear to God, game. Don't try it. Who knows? You might find something amazing. I can smack things with the right bumper. You can always press the left bumper to return objects to where their original position. So relax. What? However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for understanding. Uh, if you press the Y button, a mysterious investigate power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can press the back button. This is Xbox One controls. What the fuck? This is a start button. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? Interesting. So I smack things with the right bumper? Dude, I got fists of fury. Wait, I want to talk to Shuichi. Shuichi. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. Oh, no, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think that we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh... Something bad? Like me. I, what's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Good question. I don't know if it's what we got ourselves into, but we are kind of kidnapped. Blackboard. It's not a blackboard. This is a literal monitor. It's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. And here my school just got one of those projectors you wheeled out. You got that transparent piece of paper with a with a marker and you drew on it and it just projected and they had to wipe that shit down. You know, they spray it with that random bottle of liquid. We can get the barbed wire off the window. The outside of the window is covering in greenery and barbed wire. Why is the school windows covered in barbed wire? We can get out of that one. Surely. What am I supposed to smack? What the fuck did I just smack? Oh! Fucking give me my money. Give me my mono coins. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm a menace. This is what everyone does. This is how I beat the game. This is how I escape. This is how I escape. Surely there has to be something hidden. A floor. A secret. A secret entrance way. Get this chair out of here. What is this desk? Why are you hiding this desk, Shuichi? This desk is sus. Okay, the desk is no longer sus. This is weird. This is like a Sherlock Holmes game, I think, all of a sudden. Door! Can I leave? Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and go find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. I don't know why I smashed all the desks. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all of our strength. But then... Uh oh! Yeah. Found you. What? A, a monster? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of here. Uh, okay. Uh. Wait! 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 No. 
I'm not, I'm not gonna stick around for this one. Oh! So fucking another Gundam, dude. Kai, 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 a day. Kai, a day over here. I'm remembering. Huh, huh. Do I run? Can I move? Oh, I can run. Wait, left stick and left bumper to run? Oh my fucking god. I can run. What if I turned around? Uh oh. Let's just not. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is this a stealth game? I suck at stealth. If Ultra to Smart Girls taught me anything, I'm so I suck at stealth. Don't go that way over here. Dude, what am I supposed to get? Huh, huh, huh. I can't do sharp turns. This is why I like mouse and keyboard. I can do like flick turns. What are those things? Let me in that room. I just, I wanted to go into that room. Yo, I'm, I'm being chased. I don't like it. I don't like it. Get me out of here. Are there collectibles I'm supposed to be finding along the way, chat? You gotta let me know. Am I running in the remnants? Is this Hope's Peak? Am I in Hope's Peak right now? Are we, as we frantically dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, great. An accent. I can't wait to do that one. Oh, look at the little man in the far back. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Probably gonna have a fucking attitude. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Dude, that guy wears a mask like Seiko. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't. It's too dangerous out there. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Oh, wait, is that Todd Havercorn? Is he back? Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. I won't lie, these characters look a lot less unique. Like, overall. There's a few of them that stand out. Obviously, guy at the far left. The guy in the red shirt in the direct middle. I've seen the guy standing on his right before. Who Definitely. Half of these people Why look like they're... Here? Half of these people look like they're covering other clothes. And that makes 16. 16 high school students. What? Hidden somewhere in this school. I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us. All high schoolers. What do you think that means? 16 high schoolers? We must be in a high school. That's what that means. Brilliant deduction work, me. Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amami. 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 Isn't that food? Rantaro. I'm sorry, but... Uh, let's leave it at that for now. What? Um, okay. You know... Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah. I think it's... I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. If this is... Dang and Ronpa. What? If this is what you think it is? Hey! Some kind of dong on Ronpa? What are you, some kind of fucking know it all? If you don't, if you know something, spit it out. It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie. Okay, quiet everyone. Shimmy down, shimmy down. No, no, no. It's simmer down. Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Hey! That's uncool. Thanks for bearing with us! Don't you dare say bear. Don't you dare say bear. Serious? Oh, damn it, these are there are more monsters. We're surrounded. These aren't monsters. They're eggs is all eggs is alls. And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. What? Weapons? Yeah. Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? Oh, wait a minute. It wouldn't be fun picking on plain good for nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right. We should we should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Wait. Please, not like toothpaste. Oh, uh, I just imagined it. I can't handle gore. Well, 
Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Dude, there are multiple people. It's not just one. Please, not like string cheese either. Wait, we can't kill them with the exazoles. According to the schedule, the exazoles aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the exazoles right now. Ah, oh, so we are. Oh, we screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the exazoles for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. You no, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, ready. Oh! Monotaro. Monosuke. Monofi? Monodan. Monokid. These are Power Rangers! These are actual Power Rangers. They stole Monomi's design. You couldn't have picked a... a uh, oh shit, wait a second. How many other colors are there? There's are usually green, black. You could have gone with silver. You could have gone with... Uh, purple. There have been purple... What is this? Right now, you are the threshold of an amazing adventure. Showtime. What is this music? They could have gone with a lot of colors. They stole Monami's. See, we're out of the exiles. Exazals. Uh, now we're not scary anymore, right? Right, right. His desperation is strangely terrifying. That just reminds me of Monami in like every way, shape, and form. That's, that's Patrick Seitz. That's fucking, that's Nekomaru. You punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. No, no, Mona Kid, you're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Uh, what's hellish mean? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals? This this kid. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Also, the dialogue in the music is kind of throwing me off. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Wait, you guys call yourself the Mono Cubs? The Mono Cubs? The bloop. Oh, don't bother asking Monodum. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Monodam? Who is who is speaking in this music, by the way? Is this... Is this, uh, what's-his-face? Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot the actor's name. The, uh... Fuck! Ah, oh, God! Who is it? Yo, Crumb Scat, think about the follow. Who's it? What's the guy I'm thinking of? He voiced, he voiced, uh, Cowboy Bebop. He voiced Samurai Shampoo. What's his name? Forget it. Oh, Steve Bloom. Or Steve Blum. It sounds like him. Sorry. That's who it sounds like. Monodom, you don't even reply to your open heart to me? Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all of this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Just shut, yeah, shut up. All of you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Hey, who the hell are you, punks? Huh? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering. Do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Hey, tell me. Tell me what I'm the ultimate of. Ultimate talents? I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call that an ultimate talent. 
Me either. I don't have anything like that. Okay. Yeah, same here. I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Monophony. I don't know how to pronounce that. Weren't you in charge of that? You dumb dumb. You dingus. She's sleeping. Did she really seem tired to you guys? She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking it, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Mono Fanny. Jesus. Yo, Frank. Franklin, they were the follow. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then. Don't worry about us. The real issue is you bastards. Oh, he has an accent. He's got he's got one of them Italian accents again. He's like he's like uh, he's like that guy. I forgot his name as well. It's like the black Monokuma from Ultra Despair Girls. Well, issues putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You all you you all have forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Kurokuma, that was the one. I forgot the name for black because I don't speak Japanese. Huh? Forgotten? I know Shirokuma, I just forgot Kurokuma. See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's probably pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing you need to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents and re by regaining your memories. What the? You awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who landed another ex future ex-boyfriend. Computing. Agree. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. There we go. So they were looking a bit dumb for no reason. They were looking a bit bland. Oh! My god. Kaede. I look, I still look generic. I still look very, the ultimate backpack girl. Ultimate musician, maybe. Wait, that was, that was, uh, wait, ultimate musician. That was, uh, that was evil key. Huh? huh? What am I wearing? Looking good. Now you, uh, now a lot more of the characters look a lot more recognizable. Huh? But now you look more like ultimates. Ultimates, really? I've definitely seen this guy. Now I I, I thought I did, but because uh, of the hat, but definitely now I 100% recognize so... that. Next up, the memories you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Yo, Taylor, thank you for the 500 bits, brother. Congrats on getting your computer fixed. I've been lurking in your streams. But thanks, dude. Uh, hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, you'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game. All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. So long. Farewell. We'll see you in a bit. I don't remember how that song goes. Whoa! Pooty! Well, oh, that's not 2D, kind of. Ooh, do I want to save? Hell yeah. I want you to introduce me to everyone, game. Prologue. Ultimate Revival. I am the Ultimate Revival. Don't put me in a locker again. Huh? Huh? Why am I in a locker again? How did this happen? 
Am I revived every single time I get a memory? I'm going to wake up in this locker. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Oh. I couldn't even brace for impact as the blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Ow. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. That's not the only thing that's throbbing. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? A classroom? Whoa, look at that blackboard. Was that an LCD screen? My, my school never had one of those. Yep, this is a classroom, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Oh, she said that. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. Oh, which cheeks? Ooh. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um, How much of my own dialogue do you think I can remember? Not much. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bam! Bam! Oh! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... Oh! A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy in a normal uniform. Nothing special about him whatsoever. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head, Hey, I recognize this guy! I've seen people cosplay as him. No! Yeah. Oh. How rude. Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, Jin... Gymnopedia number one by Eric Satie. That's different. What? Gymnopedia. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Okay, things changed. Things changed. I don't know what Ursine it means. No, oh, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Ursine is bear. Ah. Although, if we were monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. Don't flatter yourself. Uh, I agree. I, I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono- We're not mono cubs! We're the stuffed animals! Psst, mono kid, you're saying your line backwards. No, stuffed animals, us! The mono cubs, them! Oh, jeez, it's even worse now. Forgot he had an accent. Huh, mono cubs? Oh, you've heard of us? No, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these mono cubs started looking at each other's- At each other and- Yay, it worked! Who's got fucking shurikens? You had me worried there for a sec. Um, hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Alright, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotar Monotaro. Or Monotaro. Uh, he's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. You are in a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Wait a second, are we all, we all a bunch of re rebellions, rapscallions? Are we a bunch of rebels? Um. The Ultimate Academy, Academy, Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Yo, we're all a bunch of bunch of troublemakers. Ultimate Academy. Never heard of a school like that. Right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 Cretans. Huh? 
16. I thought she would have a problem with the word Cretans, but all right. Yeah, there are 16 ultimates at this school. Huh? Ultimates? You know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Ultimate basically means you're, per you're particularly prejudiced in a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent through the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. This is rigged. The system is rigged. They even grant money too, right? That's where my tax dollars are going to? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Students... I hit the UI. I can do that. Uh, students would do anything for the honor being uh, chosen Ultimate. I don't think I don't need the explanation. I already know because I'm an ultimate too. Apparently, that means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? What do you mean forgetting? Shut up! Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already. Get started with what? Why exploring this academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other Ultimates. Because you guys are going to do an activity together later, eh? Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome, I've got a Ranger right now. Well then. Oh, so long, Bearwell. Oh, aren't you just a bunch of, bunch of hooligans, huh? Uh, oh, they left, but I still have so many questions. <laughs> Yeah, who are you, Shuichi? Sushi? This isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Yo, Bacon Gamer, thank you for the follow. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said that there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Pretty ultimate fashionable. Look at that. I wish I had tailored clothes like this. Oh, earning some money. Give me a sec. I'll just take this money. Okay, I'm done. You, what are you? Hey. Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, well, then... Shuichi Saihara. The Why is an ultimate detective too? What? He's dead. He's dying. He's 100% dying. He's too much like Kyoko. Ultimate detective Shuichi. What? You're a detective? That's amazing! He's dead. It's just like, it's like Byakuya the imposter all over again in the second game. He can't live. It's amazing. Oh no. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. I'm a pianist? Ultimate Pianist, Kaede. Ultimate Pianist. I'm good with my fingers, if you know what I mean. Keep that in mind, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Uh, well, no one calls me the Ultimate Pianist. They usually just piano freak. Oh, dude. Hell. Oh. That's pretty good. Yo, this guy has like the the, the skill. Suichi Shuichi has the the talent of uh of Kyoko, but like the attitude of like Nagito, it seems. He's like, I'm I'm I suck. You're so awesome. No, that's all I'm good for, really. Also, don't you dare start simping for me. I ain't having none of that simping action, alright? I am the protagonist now. I determine who simps for me. But this is the, my first time meeting another Ultimate student. Well, Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Why were we kidnapped? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Ah, uh, about that. I've deduced the problem. I don't remember. 
Huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. Huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Ow. I'm in the new world. I'm in the Neo World program. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But... I can't be... It can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right. We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's sonat Sonatine. I don't know music. Is that music? I don't really know much about music. Yeah, please. Kaede. Please stop mentioning music. You're going to embarrass me. I see. That's unfortunate. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there's our other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. Yeah, good idea. Obtain friendship fragment. You can leave the room by pressing the B button or interacting with the door. But what if I don't want to? Chat, how is the how is the audio? You gotta, you gotta let me know. Is the audio too loud? Is the music too loud? Whoa, what just happened? I pressed Y. I forgot what Y does, but apparently Y does it fucking puts me into the matrix. Voice is kind of quiet. How do I change? How do I mess with the settings? I, th I too thought the voices were quiet. I usually try to change them, but I don't know how to get into the settings. What button gets me into the settings? I press the right, right bumper. Start. Start opens this. And then I can tab over to the system. But it just tells me the controls. I don't think you can mess with them right now. Yeah, I thought the voices were kind of quiet too, which was very upsetting. I don't know how to open the handbook. I don't have a handbook. Okay, let's leave. I gotta wait till I get the handbook. Ah, oh, the game didn't even give me a settings option at the beginning. I always lower the audio and the sound effects so the voices can be way louder. Sorry about that. Even though it's a hallway, they sure are a lot of plants scoring around here. And the air is heavy. Like it's always asking me questions about life and stuff. It's kind of heavy, oppressively heavy, as if it's forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety, reminding us of, out of the outdoors. That's my fear. Uh, but this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Oh, the Walto. Thank you for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look at him. Huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, um... I just felt something in my pocket and of my uniform when I looked. Remember. Oh, who puts the button on the side and or bottom in that thing. Disgusting. Some kind of mini tablet computer? Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Um. Ew. The word monopad is written on it. I hate the fact that the button is on the side. When did I get this in my backpack? My name was displayed when I booted it up. Like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, I agree. Open it. I can now use the monopad. Press the X button to open up the unified. You get tons of game information on it. Stuff like the report card and map should be on it. So check it out. Also, if you've got a sharp eye, maybe you've already noticed. By getting closer to friends, your report card will be updated with content. Since you're now acquaintances with Mr. Saihara, his info has already been added. And I bet you also noticed you can level up by performing actions. When you level up, your skill slots increase so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends. Strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all of the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from your handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Perfect. Perfect. Now I can change my settings. Settings. Options. Lower, lower, L louder. 
That should be good. Now, save that. Hopefully. That should be very good. Wait, what? Wait, how do I go into the matrix again? Oh, it was left bumper, but I can't do that again. Whoa, this minimap is less, very small. I don't know what that is. That is not what I was looking at. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a music room? Do I can test my piano skills? Attract all the hot boys? Click. Huh? Huh? It won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. It is my room. You already said that. Can't say it again. Oh, they're here again. What do you think this place is? A Y for Matrix. Oh, right. Left bumper resets everything. Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Sorry, this was, was Mono Kid. Uh, this isn't the ultimate... Re isn't this an ultimate research lab? Stupid. What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. I see. Sorry. Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? You can't just put the word ultimate in front of everything. Yay! We want you guys to keep honoring your ultimate talent. So we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab. So, uh, But we set up labs for other ultimates too, of well, course. Actually... Most of them are still hidden though. I don't know why I gave him the accent. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it all ready. Just by that we mean somebody has to die. Just wipe your asses and wait. The hell you saying? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? <laughs> Ooh, Mona Kid is such a dummy. Hey! What are you laughing at? I bully you like I bully Monodum. Beep boop. Monodum is ultimate mastermind. You don't trust the quiet one. The quiet one is always sus. It seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey. Do you think there's really other rooms like this for everyone? For one like me, the ultimate detective, where there's just an infinite amount of murders for me to solve? Or am I already in the school? Or is this entire building the ultimate detective lab? I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was a music room. Ah, uh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Dun, dun, dun! Why? Oh, why just gives me a mini-map. I thought that just said THC and B. I guess those are classrooms. What is this? I thought that was like a human hanging. I thought there was hanging. Ooh. The sprint mechanic. <gasps> you! You seemed like the comedic talent. Who is this? Is Shenron? Let me analyze Shenron first. What is this? It looks like a dragon statue. Brilliant deduction. I can see why they call you the ultimate detective. Hey. But why is there a dragon statue in the school hallway? I have no idea. I retract my previous sentiment. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Uh, um... Still no idea. It's holding a dragon ball. You. What about you? You seem to be a little crazy. Um, hey. you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? No. Uh, um, huh? huh? Did you not hear me? Okay, then. Hey, hello. Uh, hello, Earth to you. Slap her cheeks. Huh? What? She can still can't hear me? Maybe she really is a detailed mannequin. Maybe she's the ultimate deaf student. No. No, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. Dude, she is poking her cheeks. And I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Uh, huh? Poking her doesn't work either. Maybe she's just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Shuichi. Poke, poke. Huh? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> just do it. It's so fun. I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. Oh my god, I never thought I'd be expected. I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Uh, oh! I see. Ah, so she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait! Ah, uh, if you knew that, then why'd you make me poke her? Huh? 
I'm never going to wash this hand again because she wasn't responding. Oh, no, I didn't mean any harm. I was just in deep thought. So I just ignored you. I, you, I, I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Yeah, same. I do that. I really do that. I did that a lot in school. Um, you were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk to you when they don't want to? Same. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. All right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? My favorite Doraemon episode is number 53. The one with the security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Huh. My name is Tsumuki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Wait, Shirogane? Do I know Shirogane? Or is that like a mix of like other names that I'm just like, oh, wait a second. This is just like two names that have been mixed. The ultimate cosplayer. That means she could dress up. That means she could disguise herself as any one of us because we're all, we're all already anime characters. How hard is it for an anime character to dress up as an anime character? Humans can dress up as anime characters pretty good. Naoto? Is that why? Because it reminds me of Naoto from fucking Persona 4. Sumiki, ultimate cosplayer. She's going to steal. She's going to dress up as one of us and kill. She's definitely going to be a murderer. So you're a cosplayer. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. No. I mean, sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I see. I bet it's because you've got people oogling all your curves on a daily basis. Huh? Yeah, that sounds about oh. right. Hey, Day, you sound like a creepy old man. Um, Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But, but lately, more cosplays are putting themselves before the characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with lo- Hey, the camera's getting a little close there. <laughs> then give them the- uh, I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Aw, she's not a lewd cosplayer, I see. Wow, you're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits that I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, code Shirogane, for to get 5% off, I can use materials that are just so plain, that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayers would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. And that's what someone with a sponsor would say. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. You're so amazing. Pretty much like a celebrity, you know? Hey. Ah, is it alright if I ask you something too? What is your size? What are your dimensions? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's from that one thing. Ah, that bronze st Brad dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. What if I smack it? I forgot that was a mechanic. Um, it almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? Uh, there's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. Well, a window is an exit. And it seems like we're the only people Excellent. here. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um... Kaede, Kaede, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. Oh my god, Kaede. Is, is Kaede giving me permission to simp over the women in this game? <laughs> this again. Kaede. I am the protagonist. Actually, actually, I've been living vicariously through through people like like Teru Teru and and Soda from time to time but now Kaede Kaede is the protagonist Kaede is has become the Coomer. I no longer have to witness the Makoto always denying Aoi when I wanted Hajime he wouldn't advance on Mikan or Akane at any point Kaede mm -mm. she is the ultimate Coomer our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Hmm. People do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. 
worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. yeah, so let's try to find a way out after we do it. We've been updated based on my experiences with her. I hope I can hook up with every single one. Every single person. Statue looks really out of place. What's it even doing here? I wanted to smack it. This game won't allow me to smack the dragon. Corny. What is that? Is that a camera? Can I zoom in? I cannot. Who else is here? Who else wants some, huh? I'm gonna like Kaede. If Kaede keeps these Coomer vibes going, I'm gonna I'm gonna appreciate her much more. Ooh, the men and girls bathroom. They're not for my eyes. I don't need to pee. Actually, I do need to pee. You! I've never seen you before. But first, school store? Who are you? Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Why does he know? Why does he know he's been kidnapped? When I don't remember. You both look all right. That's good. No. Situation could be better, though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? Apparently, according to you, we were kidnapped. Um. If you're asking, then you don't remember a anything either, Actually. do you? Uh, you're the same way, too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone's here is the same. Well, yo, 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 you just said you guys get kidnapped, too? By the way, how'd you get, how'd you get here? Sus. Huh? Sus. Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. Mm. Though the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. It's like, oh, we've all been brainwashed. But, but that's not normal. Is If everyone here has amnesia, well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia is a stretch? We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll all remember eventually. No. No. Or it could be a group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. That was how Junko did it in the last arc of the last game, but we're not in that, so we're not brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Ultimate multiple personality. That's Toko. Shit. Mm. Uh, the outcast. What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. It's like I'm just a, your normal, average, everyday high school student, and I don't remember my own talent. What? You got me. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but I forgot that I did, right? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omami. Rantaro. Oh, I already remember. I already had his name. <laughs> I forgot. I already learned this guy's name. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment, but I promise I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Ultimate bad guy. I'm trying to figure out what he is based on the way he dresses. He looks like he might, like, play some sort of instrument. But I play some sort of instrument. But I am limited to pianist, so he could be ultimate any other... Any other instrument. All of the earrings, all of the way he dresses. Ultimate e-boy. <laughs> it actually does look like an e-boy. Ultimate e-boy! Is it weird? I'm not really bothered by the fact I don't remember my talent. Huh? What? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Please. Stop that. We'll escape soon. This guy knows something. He's lying. He's lying through his teeth. You really think it's going to be that huh? easy? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> I don't trust him. Hey, hey, don't worry about it, all right? I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going on through his head right now. He is the ultimate lucky student. Until I meet the ultimate lucky student, he is the ultimate lucky student. I don't remember who you are. I don't remember what I am. But I granted, Kyoko was that one last time. Warehouse, eh? 
Dining hall, hey? Every 7 a.m. Everyone, let's agree to meet up at the dining hall. I don't know why I'm not going in these places. Store. Let's check out the store. Okay, never mind. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Wait, what? What was that? What was that? I saw like like a, like a refute. Agree. What the balls? Oh! Uh, so much food. I've seen this girl before. A hundred percent I've seen this girl before. One of the few that I've recognized. There's a warehouse. It's pretty big. Oh my god. Look at you. I've seen you before. Fuck your food. Give me... Up your food. God damn it! Damn it! Where the hell is it? Was she the ultimate steampunk? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey, what are you looking for? Bitch. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! Oh, yo, kill it, Sulai! Thank you for the follow. Oh my! I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, hot. I'm into it. Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaeda like that. Hey. Kaede. Hey, crotch rot. You staring at my tits? Huh? Oh my god. What? <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boobed hottie like me. Go on. Get yourself an eyeful. Oh. Uh, um... No, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. You motherfucker. Oh my god, oh my eyes just happened to look there. Oh my hand just happened to grope there. Ha, fucking virgin. Oh my god, what are these lines? I can identify pervs on sight, and you're definitely a fucking perv. He just called Shuichi a fucking virgin. Oh my god, dude. Why the hell wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Everyone wears pants, though. She's not wearing pants. <laughs> huh. Everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. I'm not wearing a hat. And I don't wear hats. Stop it. Stop it. Embarrassing me. Damn it. Leave me alone. I can wear the hat all I want to. <laughs> but what if he is a perv? <laughs> what the hell are you getting all pissed off at me for? Tell the world you're sorry. You startle me in losing into losing motivation. That loss will be felt across the whole world. Was she a racer? The ultimate drag racer? Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Really? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself. Mew, Mew, like a Pokemon. Ultimate inventor makes sense. Mew Iruma. Um, I've never heard of you. Um, what kind of thing do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets and gizmos that could blow up this school and set us free, unless I die. Uh, ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, a lot of sleeping. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. <clears throat> what if I'm sleeping right now? What if I'm in a brain mechanism? What if she invented this brain mechanism that I had a flashback of? Uh, Sus. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Agree. I've brought this up, chat. I've told you how much time is wasted sleeping. If I could get rid of one thing, it's sleeping and eating. Both wastes of time. Though this is one though this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure. Just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. 
That seems like a waste. It's better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Oh, it's way better than that. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. Uh, are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine, are you hurt or feeling sick? No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! I just want to set my mind free and forget about this shitty situation. Oh, so she's a drug user as well. Well, where's Seiko when you need her? I tell you where. The series betrayed her. What, you can't use drugs to get high? You definitely shouldn't use that. Shouldn't do that. Stop it. What the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, the place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey-goosey. So are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? I don't know how to talk as her. <laughs> like... <laughs> she changes so fast. That's, uh, they say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do, we'll do some crack with her later, guys. Free time. I'll do some crack. Uh, what's up, Shuichi? You pervert. Uh, he's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his hat. Does he really not want to talk about it? What if he's got, what if he doesn't have the upper half of his skull there and he's an alien? I've called the twist already. I reset everything. Ultimate detective mode. I'll find the crack for you. Shot put ball. The ultimate shot putter. A shot put ball for track and field. Does this place even have a sports stadium? Probably, probably some sort of ultimate sports stadium guy. A remote-controlled helicopter. What's this doing in the school warehouse? Ultimate RC-ist. A mat. Ultimate wrestler. Mats are pretty heavy. Must be a lot to carry these to the gym. A lot of work. Sus. Hey, how's your hat? Are you doing good, buddy? He's quiet. Maybe he doesn't like it when people talk about his hat. Oh, Shuichi. I won't mention your hat. Maybe. Maybe I will, because I'm curious now. All right, chat. I need to go to the... Wait, do I level up by walking around? I uh, Chat, I need to go to the bathroom. I've been drinking a lot of water. Where are my students? Oh, my God. Look at me. Look at her. What's her name? Sumigi. Who do you want to stare at? Who do you want to... She's a bit weird. Her date of birth is November 16th. She likes children's television. I like children's television. Uh, dislikes taking it easy. I mean, that's the drug use. Dislikes orderly cues. Likes Eva foam. Oh, that's like cosplayer foam, isn't it? Likes piano keys. Dislikes bicycles. The weird thing to dislike. Likes novels. Dislikes gossip. Dislikes shampoo. Likes extra territorial rights. And dislikes cars. What the fuck? 